All right, <clears throat> I've read the instructions and I know how to to uh, do this. You have to level this um, build plate here first before you do any before you try to uh, do any printing on it. You've got to level this this build plate, and it's very easy to do. Uh, well, the first thing that you have to do is you've got to put this onto here and tighten it down. You push it all the way back, tighten that down. <clears throat> that secures your your uh, build plate. Then you have to loosen this screw right here. This is one of the times you want your screw loose. All right. Now, once you uh, connect the power, if there's one unhandy thing about this thing, and it's really not all that unhandy, is that the power button is on the back. But it's very easy to reach. All right, and then it'll come on. Then you hit, this is your home menu. You hit, tools then you hit manual and then you hit home right there and it'll lower this thing if you have to stop it before it bottoms out hit stop okay Now, that's obviously not touching. They include this thing in there, and you put that over your screen. Okay. Now, once the thing stops, you hit that 0 0.1 millimeter. 0 0.1 millimeter. Okay, that's a tenth of a millimeter. And then you hit this down button, and it will lower it by a tenth of a millimeter until it's touching this paper. Well, feels more like vellum or something like that. And it's still not touching. Okay, it's touching, but you can still, it's got resistance on it, but you can still pull it out. That's level. And so, I'm gonna make sure and square it up and then tighten this back down. Now your build plate is level. Then you can hit that 10 millimeter and hit up and it'll raise it. You can take that out of there and go ahead and raise it a couple more bumps. And now, now before I, while I was reading the instructions, I cleaned, I cleaned this uh, screen and this build and this vat with uh, a glass cleaner and uh, a microfiber towel, and I cleaned this. Uh, I cleaned the the uh, top of it too with a glass cleaner and micro microfiber towel. But that's how you set it up, and you're now ready to print. And even if you didn't, even if you didn't get on this video, this here has videos loaded on here to show you every step you need to do by plugging this into your computer, and you can watch it on there. But it's also got uh, these very, very detailed instructions, three different sets. One troubleshooting guide and a, a really fat user manual too that shows you how to not only use the machine but also how to use uh, the program 
that you're going to need to know how to work to to set up your prints. So it's got plenty of instructions. I mean, the people that uh, wrote that didn't speak English as a first language. Not that that's bad, because they they really did a good job in spite of that. But you can just tell by some of the grammar that. Uh, but it is still very easy to understand, very clear. And mine didn't come with any resin, so I bought a uh, hundred mil, or I mean a thousand mil bottle of, of clear green resin, uh, so that I could start printing soon as I got this thing, and it's and it's ready to go now. So, but I gotta move to a different room before I can try a test print on it. And so I'm going to move this thing and then we'll pick back up because I'm going to run the little piggy bank test print on this thing just to try it out. 